Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marla Ramirez and I'm so happy to have you back or if it's your first time here, welcome. Um, so I am on a roll, I'm filming another video. This one is actually one that I've been excited to film um, for a while now. It's a products I regret buying um, and I do have quite a few products to show you all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it because I don't wanna have that long of an intro. I'm gonna start off with some products that, I have two from the same line and I, should have known better than to purchase the second one, but I'll kind of get into that. So the product I'm talking about is e.l.f. Foundations. So this is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Um, this is in the shade Light Ivory. So I've had this one for a while now. I actually purchased it um, because I was influenced by somebody on Instagram. Um, most of these products I was actually influenced by somebody, but I'm not gonna really name names. Um, different products work for different people, so I don't really blame the influencer. I more so blame myself because I usually research products really, really well before deciding to purchase them. I'll watch reviews, I'll look at swatches, I'll look at reviews online, and most of the products here were impulse buy products. Um, that I just didn't really consider all the factors before purchasing. So it's more so a me issue, right? And so for this foundation, it just, it looks really, really foundation-y on my skin. Sorry, little side note, if you guys hear noise, it is raining outside. Um, there might be some cars that are kind of roaming by and then I did have the heater on. I just turned it off, but you might've heard some noise um, prior to me turning it off. I was just saying, it just looks really foundation-y on my skin. Um, it kind of like balls up and separates um, while I'm wearing it. Um, it also does emphasize some of my dry areas, like my dry patches. So overall, it's just not one of my favorite foundations. I've had it kind of separate right now because I am gonna be decluttering it and giving it to somebody that could maybe get some more use out of it. So that's the first one. And since I don't like e.l.f. foundations, you would think maybe she learned her lesson with the first one, but I didn't. Um, I bought the recently released e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is in the shade Fair 120N. And this is just another one of those products that I just didn't watch enough reviews on. I was watching a video and I didn't really think about the fact that the person I was watching has really different taste when it comes to foundation. She likes more of a full coverage matte finish and you have to really take that into account whenever you're watching videos from somebody. You want to really watch people that are going to be you know, are gonna coincide with like the type of makeup that you like to wear. And for me personally, I do like like a medium, maybe medium full finish, but I do like more of a satin, even dewy, just like natural finish on the skin. I'm not really a matte person. And this one is definitely more on the matte side. And it also is fairly full coverage. Like you can get a really decent coverage with this one. Um, I think also a factor is that the shade is slightly a little bit too light for me. So it's just not my favorite, but what I am doing right now is I'm trying to use it up. So I'm mixing it with a foundation that I have that oxidizes a little bit too dark on me. And that way I can get use out of both of them and neither of them go to waste. So I'm trying to find a way to incorporate it, but it's just not my favorite product. And if you were to tell me, Marla, do you want your $15 back instead of this foundation? I would totally say yes. That's another thing. This is really expensive. It's $14.99, I think, or like $15. I got it from the e.l.f. website and it's really, really pricey for e.l.f. I believe this one is like $6. So there's quite a bit of a price jump. And then the next complexion products I wanna talk about are these Rimmel blushes. So I have two of them. I have the shade Third Base, which is the pink one. And then I have the shade Sweet Cheeks, which is more of like a peachy melon type of color. These just look really powdery on the skin. They don't really like sink into the skin. You can just really tell that you're wearing them. They're kind of like chalky in a way. And so it just wasn't my favorite. They just are not, why am I swatching so oddly? Oh my goodness. Okay, 
get it together marla get it together so that's kind of what they look like it's really bad swatches but you can kind of tell they're just really chalky really powdery just not my favorite blushes i never reach for them because i just don't like the formulation and i would reach over a lot of my other blushes instead so even when you like go in with a brush it like kicks up a lot of powder in the pan these are really inexpensive i think they're probably like four bucks maybe but just not something that i reach for so there's really no purpose for them in my collection if they're just going to be taking up room so again another product that just not for me staying in the cheek range actually i did purchase this becca highlighter this is champagne pop and everybody loves this highlighter except for me apparently and basically the reason that i don't love it is not because it's an ugly highlighter i don't think that it is i don't think that it's an ugly highlighter i don't think that it's a bad highlighter but i just feel like it's just too dark on me like it i'm just so fair and this highlighter just looks really really dark you can tell that i'm wearing highlighter um i'm probably gonna start using it as maybe like a like a cheek topper type thing so that I can be sure to use it up because these are really pricey but it's just one that hasn't really worked for me and I, I just don't really reach for it to be honest and also in the realm of highlighters we do have these two little babies from Fenty I'm sorry if I blinded you um, but I have two of their diamond bombs so one is how many carrots so that's like the white silvery one and then the other one is Fenty Glow, and this is more like the coppery, um, like brown goldy one. I don't get these. I don't understand, like, I, I don't get it. I mean, maybe it's nice like on the body, but these have a really interesting texture. You can almost like push down on it, kind of like a super shock shadow, and like this white one if you go into it you feel like oh my gosh it feels so buttery so smooth you almost think that you're gonna get like a ton of product but in reality like i was just like really going in and that's what it looks like on my finger it looks really wet and super pretty but i can't figure out how to apply these onto the cheeks to really like get that glistening look when i apply these to my face all I get is the glitter and it's just like a glitter mess on my face and I, I, I it's just it's not the look that I'm going for so I was just really disappointed with it this one I knew that I wasn't going to be able to use it as a highlighter because obviously it is a, a darker color but that's what it looks like swatched on my finger and then that's what it looks like swatched out so it's that one right here i have like glitter all over my hands it looks really really pretty swatched out it looks like it would almost be really gorgeous like as a cheek topper or maybe even like a really really glowy blush but the same thing happens with this one like i feel like i can't really retain that really light base and it almost just leaves just glitter vomit all over my face <laughs> and it's just not like it's not the look that i'm going for so yeah i tried using this one on my eyes and it faded and like creased throughout the day i think that might be just due to the fact that the actual product almost feels like it has kind of like some type of oil or something and so i feel like com like combined with the oils of my eyes it just wasn't working out so I, I'm going to try to use them up, but I was definitely disappointed in the formula. It just wasn't something that I expected from this product. I expected something a little bit different. And again, it just comes down to me not researching the products adequately. I'm glad that I got these in like the little minis and I'm going to try to find a way to use them. Or if not, then I'll probably just end up passing them along to somebody else that can appreciate them better. And last cheek product is actually a newer one for me. This is the pressed powder blush in my type from ColourPop. Packaging is chef's kiss. It's perfection. Like the packaging is so freaking adorable. It's like this raised little heart. Um, it fits in the palm of your hand. It's super, super adorable. They had this one, um, which is the pink shade. And then they had the, like a neutrally peachy one. And then they also had a red one, I believe. 
and so that's what the blush looks like and this is also just a marla error like this is user error for sure i knew oh i just dug my nail into it great so i knew that i'm not the type to use like a bright pink blush like this but i was like you know what like why are you gonna get the neutral one like that's a blush that you would always get like try something different and you know whatever and this is like a very bright cool tone bubble bubblegum pink but i just i just don't like it <laughs> i just don't like it i don't i don't know if it's the shade i don't know if it's the formula because this is the only one that i purchased but it's just not my favorite on me and i'm wearing kind of like a pink blush today but i don't know if it's the fact that this is like a matte pink blush and usually the ones that i have are more like glowy um, or they have like a sheen to them so they just look different on my skin but this is just not it for me um, I'm gonna keep it because the packaging is adorable I'm gonna try to get some use out of it but yeah just not one of my favorite blushes at all this is actually one that has been in people's favorites forever but it's just not one of my favorites it's the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil it's in the shade perversion it's one of their black liners I just find that this doesn't stay on my waterline and it's not even a liner I can use like to line the top of my lid and like smudge out because it'll transfer to my top lid. So it's just a liner that is super pricey. It's like 20 something dollars and it's just not worth it for me. I'm gonna use it up, um, but I have found a better formula that I actually do like from L Linda Hallberg and that one does not freaking budge. It'll stay on your waterline um, and it'll smudge out beautifully and just look crisp and gorgeous. And so this just wasn't it for me and it's a really pricey liner for it not to stay. That was a regret. I want my money back. This next one oh my goodness this is like a super duper regret and this is like the perfect example of like why impulse purchasing should not freaking happen and this was oh okay so this is the anastasia um beverly hills lip gloss in the shade freya it looks gorgeous right it looks gorgeous in the tube it's like this champagne color with like these gold flecks i really wanted something super shimmery like this it has almost like a pink pearl throughout it as well i don't know if the camera is picking that up but it looks gorgeous in the tube and even swatched it looks flipping gorgeous so that's what it looks like swatched you can kind of see that pink pearl throughout it as well but the thing with this is that it is so gritty and the glitter is just like so present i can feel it when i'm talking i can feel it when i apply it it's just really 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 awful and i don't like that glitter feeling i i love glittery lip glosses like this like the fenty gloss bombs are beautiful um the mac dazzle glass and lip glass formulas i actually personally really like those um i know a lot of people don't but i do and that anastasia beverly hills lip gloss is just one that i just hate and this was like 20 something dollars i don't remember exactly the cost of this and that is the only reason that I still have it because I'm just so pissed at myself that I spent that amount of money on a lip gloss that I literally put it on and I had to take it off because I hated it so much. I should just like force myself to use this honestly because it's just like it was a waste of money literally and I should have gone to return it and I didn't so you know it is what it is. This next one is just also an example of why you should know your makeup preferences better and why again you just shouldn't impulse buy me personally i have really small eyes um and i have kind of like i guess i would say hooded eyes so the big fluffy lashes that a lot of like influencers and people on instagram wear they're just not made for me. It really makes my eye close off. It makes any shadow look that I do basically be non-existent because all you could see is the lash when my eye is open. And I already knew that. And because of that, I usually lean towards Ardell Wispies or Demi Wispies, which like today I have the Demi Wispies because you can still see my shadow look. They feel really comfortable. They're easy to apply. 
I can make them um, look like they're my lashes basically with a couple different techniques. And so I knew all of this going into this purchase and yet I still made the purchase because it was on sale and it was like 50% off. It was like the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is a new box, but I already used the other one. Let me, so really thinking about it, I'm probably gonna wear these a couple times and I'm probably not gonna like how they look because I don't like this look on me. But yet here we are with lashes that I purchased that I hate. So this is the Lily Lashes Faux Mink Lashes and it's in the version of Miami Flair. They're gorgeous. They look beautiful in the box. Like they look so dramatic, so gorgeous. I'm not denying it. It's just a lash that doesn't work for my eyes. And you know, I should have known better than to spend the money on them. Yeah, I've used the other ones because this isn't the only one pair that I bought. I bought a couple different pairs. And so I've used them already. This is just a new pair that I had there. Um, but I definitely do regret purchasing these and I, I wish I would have known, I wish I would have accepted and really thought about my makeup preferences prior to making this purchase. I really want to do that moving forward. I want to be more thoughtful about the makeup that I'm actually bringing in and just be a little bit more selective and really just trust my gut instinct when I know that that's not a makeup product that I'm going to actually like and use. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share all of these makeup products with you all, just some products that I do regret purchasing that, you know, if the brands would offer me the money, I would definitely take the money and run because they are products that just really did not bring me any joy and did not inspire much love in me for makeup. So yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share this video with anyone you feel would be interested. I am super excited to keep pumping out videos. Hopefully I can stay on this little upward, tr tr upward trend that I'm on. Uh, and yeah, I hope that you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.